everyone, just a, uh, a little short video on um, some of my vintage collections and uh, with uh, not a lot of stuff coming in. Uh, I just thought I'd go back and reconnect some of the old vintage baseball cards I got started with. And I wanted to show a guy who doesn't have a lot of cards, uh, and that's Monty Irving. So uh, I'll start by showing some cards as I talk and tell a little bit about them. Here's his rookie from 1951 Bowman. Tell so clearly off center on that, but just a really cool. I love that image of him, uh, the trees in the background. It's a painted image from 51 Bowman. He was a, a long time a Negro League player. He played for the uh, the Newark Hawks or the Newark Eagles, excuse me, up in uh, New Jer Newark, New Jersey. Yeah, he was from Orange, New Jersey, but he, uh, he originally was born down here in Alabama, like so many great players. Uh, guys like Willie McCovey, uh, Willie Mays, Hank Aaron, all, all born here, not too far from where I'm at in Alabama. But uh, I'll show you the back on this. Monty, uh, he served in World War II. I think he was drafted and served three years. And uh, I guess even had uh, some ringing in his ears that affected his coordination later on. But he was still able to have a Hall of Fame career. Uh, came back in, uh, started, I think, in uh, 49 uh, with the New York Giants. So two years after Jackie Robinson came, and I'll set that down. He, uh, it was rumored that Monty Irvin was the first choice to, uh, to break into uh, Major League Baseball, and uh, he decided that he wasn't quite ready for that. And uh, the rest is history. Here's a 52 Tops. Quite a few issues with centering on these, as is the norm. This was a pretty clean copy. Otherwise, I love that image of him. Same images that is used in the 51 Tops play balls as well. I have that, but it's in a, in a safe deposit box. I have it in an 8. A really nice grade on that. This is the uh, the black back. For years, the uh, the black backs had a higher premium than the red backs. Uh, but nowadays, there's really no difference between the price of a black and a red back. But it was denoted there on the, uh, the PSA slab. I like that imagery. That's got really good colors. You can see the blueness of the cap. And then on to 53. Love the colorful imagery of the 53. These are painted cards. So if you're interesting. And on the back... So there are quite a few uh, double prints of cards from 1953, a few short prints as well. Uh, but this was a double print, so plenty of these to be had still. This an uh, excellent five grade. He's got a, uh, a 51 Bowman, excuse me, 52 Bowman and a 53 Bowman as well, which is unusual because Bowman and Tops would often sign exclusive rights with players, so... Uh, very rarely do you see him have some players, I guess, were able to get cards in both sets, uh, as is Monty Irvin's case. Don't have his 54 tops, but his Dan D. Potato Chips. These are a really rare card, kind of maybe a regional, I imagine, on the East Coast. Dan D. They actually inserted these into a bag of chips, so they could be quite uh, oil-stained and grease-stained. Uh, it's kind of got a waxed top uh, finish on the on the surface. Here's kind of the back, pretty plain. See Dan D. High low eyes potato chips. You can see maybe around the edges a little yellowing. I don't know if that stains from the oil uh, from being in the bag of chips. This one again is that off center theme and it's got a little bit of a surface crease there. So not a very good VGX4, but I just uh, I saw it and picked it up. It's kind of a, a rare piece. Coming into his last two years, like I said, because of the, the amount of time he spent in the military and in the Negro Leagues, he didn't play uh, a quite, but a few years in the major leagues, but still his whole body of work was enough to get him in the Hall of Fame. He played a big role in mentoring a young Willie Mays as well. I mean, they both have uh, some Alabama roots, and uh, with Monty coming into the league and, and being a trailblazer, I imagine he was kind of uh, that big brother figure that Willie Mays needed when he came in as a really young young man. I love that colorful 55. This one's just an excellent at 5. I'll show the back as well. They have those colorful puzzles or the, the colorful uh, cartoons, excuse me. You see that Monty merited the 100 card, which is a pretty high honor. The 100 or the 200 typically is for some of the better players in the league. 
And uh, this card set was uh, just a little over 200 cards, so one of the smallest sets tops ever produced. But uh, cool, the first time they did this uh, landscape portrait, if you will. And then 56, he's now with the Cubs. His last playing card. Really nice near mid seven. Don't know why I splurged for the near mid seven. I've probably had this card eight years now, maybe seven years. Haven't seen it in a while. It's been tucked away in a box somewhere. But I like that shot of him coming in to grab that catch, a basket catch, if you will. Uses the same facial image as the uh, you have in the 55 TC. So, something familiar about that card. <laughs> Anyway, cool card uh, with the Cubs and a really nice grade in that 56 and a near mint 7. And then lastly, here's his autograph on a placard. It says 1964 date Hall of Fame yellow. I wonder if that's this, uh, the card stock here was part of a series. Now, Monty wasn't inducted into the Hall of Fame until 1973, so... Uh, maybe this this set of uh, yellow Hall of Fame cards started in 64, I'm assuming, and it's continued through the years. Uh, it even says right here on the back, it's kind of a postcard. It says right here, inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1973. So, kind of a cool uh, Hall of Fame autograph piece, if you will. Short collection, uh, not a very big one, but... Uh, once again, Monty didn't have a lot of years in the league, so not a bad one to collect. And uh, not nearly as popular as some of the greats uh, from his era, but uh, a really cool player and a cool card to collect as well. A lot of history there. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, reconnection with the vintage side of things. I appreciate your posts, your comments. I'll talk to you again soon.